but thankfully is now fully fit again and in Formula One is Johnny Herbert. Nick Collins saw him take his first tentative steps back. Still on crutches and nursing, among other injuries, a badly broken ankle, Johnny Herbert is proof that you can't keep a good man down. It may not be a Grand Prix car, but three months after a horrific accident and just a few weeks after leaving his wheelchair, Johnny's back in the cockpit again, taking his cart out for a gentle little spin. But more park track near Chatham seems an unlikely starting point on the long road to total recovery. But John is a former British karting champion, and there is method in this madness. Well, for me, it's good because I can get all my reactions back where I haven't been in a racing car for such a long time now. So for me, it's good. It's good for my ankles as well because I can put pressure on them so I can brake and throttle no problem. So it's, it's good, good, good for me just to get back into something that's, that's quick. While leading a Formula 3000 race at Brands Hatch, his luck ran out. First, the race was stopped after this happened to one of his rivals. Then, when the race was eventually restarted, this happened. Herbert in yellow car 31. Oh, my goodness me, look at that. It's a real multiple accident. The cars are all over the place. Nearly the, at least half the field involved. Incredible. When the dust settled, the young Essex driver was left with a shattered heel, two broken ankles, a fractured leg bone, and his Grand Prix dreams in tatters. When I was actually crashing, I didn't I think I really thought of anything because it happened so quick. But when I stopped and looked down, I could, there was a great big hole in the front of the car where it was knocked off. And the way you sit in the car, your knees are up, and it looked as if I'd lost my, my legs from my knee down. So. That was the first thing I'd actually thought, but I never sort of went hysterical or anything. It didn't really sink in. It just looked as if I'd lost my legs from there. Then they said, can you move your legs after about five minutes? And then I thought, well, they must be still there. So, But I didn't really know what had happened until later that night. Having come back from the brink once, Johnny Herbert's aiming to steer a safer course to Formula One stardom. Hey! 